Hey everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today's a special day. Um, I have been asked to collaborate with Janet at RTS Scrapbooking for the um, six inch, you know, six by six uh, paper pad. And, uh, you know, the class that, that she's been having on her channel, and I've been playing along. I've already done several pages, and I couldn't believe how much I absolutely loved it. So not only did I purchase the, uh, the original class from uh, Scrapbook Generation, I also purchased the, the second class, which is much larger. And I haven't even looked at it just because I'm still having so much fun with the original class. Now, I wanted to um, use some of my Auburn Lane kit. I've been showing that on my channel uh, for the, during the month of October, and I'll continue this on in November. But um, I had to like choose some photos that I knew that I really wanted to draw attention to because that's what I feel like these six by six pads do you know when you uh, put it on a you know 12 by 12. Now normally I do wallet size photos. I'm really stretching myself here. I am I'm going to use all three of these um, four by six photos and these are photos of me that just uh, recently um, I've been on a, a healthy lifestyle journey and um, when I was up in Michigan, my daughter had given me some clothes that didn't fit her anymore because she has also been on a healthy lifestyle journey and she is like way smaller than me. But she loved these pants that, and she thought that I would love them. And I thought, oh, and they were a size smaller than I have worn like ever. And I thought, I don't know. I don't know if they'll fit. She goes, oh, just go try them on. There's some stretch to them. They fit. I love it. I just never, in my mind, those of us that have ever like lost a lot of weight, if you um, go clothes shopping, you, you always think you're that size that you've been forever. So this has been, this is a new mindset for me. And not only that, uh, this also encouraged me to really look at my work clothes, which I wear scrubs, which I affectionately call my pajamas, but no, not really. Um, but they were, they were sagging. They were looking pretty bad. So I actually bought a smaller size in those. I got those this past week and they fit as well. And I feel such victory, such victory. So anyway, um, I wanted to pull out my Auburn Lane kit, like I said. Now I have added some things to it. So, um, and I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to do a one page or a two page. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a two page on this just because this is um, a major event in my life. I, I feel that this is, but when I look at you know how I like to use pattern paper as my background. I don't have two of the same or really two that coordinate. I mean, these two may, um, these, they may work. I'll just pull these out. And then the other two, I mean, I love, I love this paper. This, it's houndstooth. This is the other side. I don't really like it for that side. This one has a little piece out of it. And then it would be these two. See how I've got like, I've got choices here of which way I want to go. So th this is gonna be my background. I believe that's the way it's gonna be. Um, see, I think I was wanting it to go like this and like this. I think that's the way I was gonna have it. I do have some scraps here, which you could use this as, you know, part of your uh, design element. Use, you know, you can use scraps if you don't have a six by six pad, which Auburn Lane doesn't. They have a six by eight. I happened to find one over at Tuesday morning and I just picked it up because I thought, you know, I'm going to be using this. So now I want to see uh, I'm really leaning towards the yellow. I really like scrapping with yellow. So I think I'm gonna pull this one out. 
And I'll trim this down to six by six just so that I can be compliant with, you know, you know, the, the name of the this, you know, uh, class is six by six. So I want to make sure that I um, I stay true to that. Now this this really I think it met, coordinates well with my uh, the you know the pants that I have on. And then I want to get another color. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Let's see if that's. I don't think that works well with this. So let's see. Now. Get another floral. Oh gosh, it's already got two floors, which is fine. Which is fine. Okay, maybe no. Maybe that one, which I have it here. I don't know if it's six by six though. I think it might be a little shorter. Let me measure. Yeah, it's five and a half. But I could use that. I could use that. Let's I mean look let's see what else. Okay, now it's just repeating. Um let me go with that. I pull the ones that I like that I feel drawn to. So you might as well. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use. So let me go ahead and trim these down to uh, six by six. Oh, you know, one thing about this trimmer, it is very lightweight. Uh, it's one of the things I like about it, and I've taken it to crops, which has been great. Let's see, I think, I think that's what six. Okay, and then if uh, if you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I've never been to a local crop. No, I can't say never. I've been doing this way too long. I, I have gone to local crops. It's just that there's not any that I've gone to so far. I know that Victoria Marie has one that's relatively close to me, but I... I keep thinking about going and she's had spots available, but you know, okay. So here's my three papers. So why did I choose three? Um, I am not going to use it as a whole. Actually, I'm gonna cut it um, into two pieces and I'm not going to cut them exactly in half. But before I do much else, I should have just trimmed this one down. This is one of my favorite paper pads or collection from Authentique. Oh, what is it even called? Classic Beauty. Oh gosh, I love it. I think it's the only collection of theirs that I've ever purchased. Love, love, love it. I like yellow. Yellow is so hard to find. And I do love it. My favorite color is green, but I love some yellow. Nice and cheery. Okay, I don't know. I've re I've kind of fixed my camera so I can get more. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see everything at once. Well, we'll just have to make do, do the best we can with what we have. Oh. Okay, let me just get this out of here. Hey, wow, impressive. Okay, so I wanted, see I wanted the photos to look like this. So I want, I want to look like this. And these two are so similar. And this one is more of a, okay, but you know, like, does it really matter? I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. The darker paper on the right. Go figure. Okay, so this is how I want to lay them out. Okay, and then, 
This I feel needs to be in the middle and then this needs to be here and then I want this one here. Okay, so how am I going to cut them? Well, I know this is a six, four by six, so I'm gonna trim this down to four, and then I'm going to, um, I want this up a little higher. So I'll trim this for two, and then this to be for four, and let's see how that goes. So let me trim it by four. Let me tell you what I mean. Let me just show you what I mean. Okay. So here's the first one. Oh, I guess I could use my little trimmer for this. I'll do that for the next ones. Okay, so let's go like this. And then this one is like this. You see how it is? And then I'll do the same here. But you know what, I think I'm gonna separate them. And then at the end I'm gonna show you, I did a one page doing the very same um, um, idea but I just did a one pager and it turned out so beautiful. I was very impressed. Okay, so I trim it by four because I want it four inches wide and then I want it two inches at the top and then four inches at the bottom. Okay, makes sense. Okay, and it goes here and then here Here's the last one. I didn't get my scrap table cleaned up too well before I got started with this. I got so excited. I got so excited. Once I figured out what photos I was going to use, yeah, I was like ready to rock and roll. Let me tell you that. Okay. So then there's this and then that. All right, so that's, this is how I am going to use the six by six pad. Well, you know what I mean, because I'm using, and I want this to butt right up against the edge. All right. But then these two, I want them to have a little space between them. Or do I? You know what? I think I'm going to try to find some washi tape to put between that. Yep, and then I'll put some washi here. So I'm going to come back. Um, I'm going to put everything down and then I'll show you. Okay, so now I have them all attached and I use this washi tape. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it's going to be a little out of focus or what. It looks out of focus to me, but my eyes are changing and I think it has to do with this lifestyle change, So, uh, which is a good thing. I think I don't need my glasses as strong as they are. <laughs> okay, I was going to show you. Oh, ah, oof. Ah. If anybody has this, this is from Ikea. It's hard to tell and it's hard for me to take a photo of it. But here is a <clears throat> way to organize your papers or collections. But this is what I decided to do because I wanted to use up uh, the Auburn Lane. I wanted it to be out easy access. So that's why I put it in here. I bought two. I have one for my Mini Kit Monday, um, and I just got these. So I'm gonna use it for my Mini Kit Monday, so every time I get a kit, I just throw it in there. I have been putting them in little, not little, but you know, the big uh, um, <laughs> Ziploc bags, you know. But um, I like this better. So anyway, this is what I have. So I wanted to show you 
that I did, I, I got my six by eight pad here. Seems like there's, some, do I see something down in there? What's down in there? Yeah, one of these bags. That's what I'm used to keeping them in. And then whenever I'm done playing with this, it will go back in this bag. So I'm sure that's why I put it in there. Okay, so I also was able to pick up a 12 by 12 pad. I have this alpha here. Uh, you know my, uh, how I feel about these. Yeah, I'm, oh gosh, can't wait till I'm done with those. Then I have stickers. I put, um, I have lots of embellishments. Let me see. I've got, I got a couple packs of these. Okay, I got three packs of these because I love this collection and I know that I will use this again and again and again. Uh, wait until, you know, later when you see my Snow and Cocoa stash. Yeah, it's bigger, way bigger than this because I love that collection and I've been adding to it ever since it came out. I keep uh, repurchasing. Um, I, here's the puppy stickers. Here's these stickers. Uh, I have the washi. I only, I only have one pack of this. Um, they, you know, they had more at Tuesday morning, but I thought, no, I'm okay. Do you guys ever do that? Say, oh yeah, I'm okay. I don't, I don't need more of that. Like never, but you know, this is how we know we have an addiction, right? Uh, and then I have a couple of these words here. Here, there, weekend, which I'm not going to be using for this. Or maybe the word here. I don't know. Okay, so I was going to show you, let you see what my stash is for my Auburn Lane. And so I'm going to just pull out on my table. I don't want to forget that. Um, so the papers that I have left over, um, what what I do with it, I, I'm just going to stick it back in here in my 6x8 pad and it's going to go back in here. It may end up at the bottom, but it's okay. But I also have these scraps here. Maybe I'll put it with that. I don't know. Now remember with this kit, I decided to pull all kinds of papers. I followed Janet on her making our Auburn Lane, um, which, what did they call it? Counterfeit kit? I have tried to do that before and their kits are huge. And um, if you know me by watching the Mini Kit Monday um, videos, I like small kits. This one is rather large, but it is all one, pretty much one collection. All right, get this out of the way. This is the one that's open. Okay, to embellish it. So what am I gonna title this? I should probably go ahead and do this. Um, so what, what this is called whenever, you know, you see improvement in your life, the scale had not changed that much for me. Um, but I'm tell you what, everything just kind of shifted and, and it, you know, it's, I'm just amazed of the change in my body by just eating food differently. Anyway, uh, so it's called a non-scale victory. So that's what I want to title this. Let me get out those alphas that I don't really care for. And I have lots of room for here to, let me even see, Let's see, non. See, this is, this is what I don't like about these alpha, is you can't see it unless you've got something dark behind it. Non, I'm hoping that I'm gonna run out of letters. S, I don't know how, I've been able to use these alphas as long as I have. I'm not gonna have enough room. I'm gonna have to do some rearranging. 
I would love to hear if anyone else, you know, has made some lifestyle changes to help, you know, for their health. Um, I would love to hear about your journey as well. I try not to talk about it too much. I know I've talked to you guys about, um, you know, the keto lifestyle. I tell you what, I had to get off of keto. Well, not necessarily get off. It was not as effective as this new way that I'm eating. It's made a huge difference. Okay, non-scale. And it's not for everybody. So I am not an endorser of what I'm doing. It just works for me. So non-scale. I'm just... Let's just see if I have enough. B I can you believe this? C as long as my spelling. Oh, I'm out of O's, but we know what we can do for that. Hello, Mr. Q. Having a little surgery today. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Because I need an O. Okay. R. I'm going to have to scooch it down. And a Y. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. Okay, so if I look at this alpha, oh my gosh, look how I have an A. I'm always looking for vowels. I have a couple of I's. I could make that a U. I mean an O, and then a couple of U's. I can't believe I have two S's and a T. You know me. Oh my gosh, there's even an L. I usually run out of that first. Oh gosh. I can't believe this. This was a huge title too. And I still have alpha left. Oh, breathe in, breathe out. Girl, you're going to make it. Does anybody like this alpha? I mean, am I the only one that just hates it? I mean, I use it because, you know, it came in my this kit that I bought, but because I want to be a good steward of my, you know, my money since I've already purchased it. And I dislike it so much, I don't want to give it to anybody else, you know. You know what I mean? You know, re-gifting something is, uh, oh, anyway. <laughs> Just a season for re-gifting. Okay, so now, as you can see, it needs a little something to be underneath it so you can see it. So now I'm going to have to go, I saw, let's see, what did I have? Oh, I had, I hated to use that again because it's just right here. If I use this, oh, that's too, I don't like that together. Oh, this one. Wah, wah. Well, I do like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make little banners, except for the bottom, I'll make a full strip because I do have this in the six by eight pad. Let me get this going, because I don't want this video to be like forever long. Um, so I'm just gonna break it up into segments. So let me attach all this and I will be back. Okay, so everything is attached, and um, and you're thinking, Tracy, I thought you were going to get the same gray. Well, this was actually from the 12 by 12 paper that I had, and they didn't have it like this. Let me show you what they have, which you would think would be an upgrade, right? Because they added some of this copper. Let me show you. This one, yeah, it had the metallic, the copper. I didn't want that, it, it totally changed things. So I decided to go with the pink. 
Um, it works. You can still see it, right? Non-scale victory. So now it is time to go ahead and start get some embellishing. I saw this house sticker houses actually. I think I might totally here. Oh God, these are sticky. Oh my goodness gracious. You know, sometimes I don't mind the white edge around, you know, but sometimes I do, and when I do, yeah, I trim it away. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Now these Cutter B uh, scissors that I'm using, they're non-stick, and so they're not supposed to, you know, stick to, and they're not, nothing's sticking. If I use my, these scissors I've had for years, <laughs> back when I was even sewing, I've had them for a long time. Uh, those would stick. Those are not the non-stick. I did buy some scissors similar to that. They're Fiskars that are the non-stick that are large like that, but they're not near as comfortable as these handles are. Here, I'll show you. This is non-stick. See, it even says titanium. Oh gosh, goodness gracious. You can see it. I think it's my glasses. My glasses are dirty. That's why it looks so fuzzy. Titanium nonstick, but there's, I don't like them. I don't like, you know, I guess to each their own. Okay, back to this. I'm almost done. Um, at least I'm almost done trimming. Okay, so I'm just go ahead and put this house here. I like it. You know, because I am at home. This is my house. You can even see a kitty cat right there. You know, I'm at my house. Got to be a kitty cat around. Um, okay, this color, there is, let's see. I don't know. I, I have I got to be careful. I do this all the time where I just start pulling stuff and put it together and then I'm like, oh, I don't like this. I did that uh, yesterday. I had made a layout and I just started slapping things on and, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just ruined that. So I just took everything off because I didn't use wet glue to glue it down. Started over. I loved it. I loved, loved, loved it. Okay, do I want to put another house here, another house here. Kind of tuck it underneath there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I like these houses. You know, and I am the scrapper that, it doesn't have to have a reason. <laughs> you know, like uh, there's a bunny over here. I think I'm gonna add the bunny too. Cause the way he's looking, is like, uh, hello? What's that? Look at that. Look at that girl. She's looking good. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm feeling so much better. are the stickiest stickers. They've upped their game on the stickers, that's for sure. Okay, now I'll put that one there. I like it, I like it. Okay, see the bunny? He's like, now what? Look at her. Put him on the house, no, that would be funny. Okay, what else shall I do? Does it need stay classic? That is one thing about me and my style and the way I dress. I would say I dress very classic, but I don't think I'm going to use that. So let me, oh, go for it. How about that? 
about like this. Now I did glue uh, the letters down, you know, because you know with the, if you don't know already, the chipboard, anything, I don't care what it is, it, it doesn't have enough stickiness to it. You think that it's going to stick forever and ever, it does not. So just go ahead and put some wet glue. If you know for sure that's what you want, then um, you need to go ahead and just glue it down. Now that go for it, it's kind of looking lonely by itself. And once again, it's got so much white background. It kind of drives me crazy. But it needs a little something for it to sit on. I'm sorry, guys. But this, <clears throat> it does, it drives me nuts. You can fast forward if, you, if this drives you nuts watching me do it. Uh, do you got does anybody do this too? I'm sure you do, right? Because everybody thinks like I do. No, they don't. <laughs> That's the one nice thing about you know scrapping or whatever craft that you decide to do. Everyone has their own style, and whatever you like, you know, you do you. I say. Don't let other people um, make you do things that you're not comfortable with. You have got to find your own being because you're not going to be happy if it's... Oh, guys, I am so sorry. <laughs> My computer said enough. You have to delete some things if you want to enjoy making more videos. So I had to delete a bunch of stuff. Took me a little bit. Okay, I don't know if I like that. Let me see if I can use more than ever. Make someone smile. You make me happy. Shine like the stars. How about that? Shine like the stars. I don't have to be able to read it. Um, yeah, maybe. I'm trying to make a little something for it to kind of sit on. Okay. God, which, where did I get this? Here. Okay, so there is that. And, and then I want to put something over here. What do I want to do? Anything over here? How about a little bee? Isn't that cute? You know, that looks very similar to a moth that one of the cats brought in today to play with. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't, you know, all my kids are gone and, um, so I don't have any antidotes of what, you know, for, for my uh, kids, unless somebody calls me. But, uh, so I have my cats, so you guys get to listen to my cat stories. Okay, let's see. This is so blessed. I say, and you know, I absolutely love words um, I want them all over my page. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I love this copper. Oh, never give up on your dreams. Uh, somewhere over here. 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 How about on the photo? Oh, I love it. Never give up on your dreams. Oh my gosh, isn't it funny when you find like something and it just like speaks volumes? Oh, okay, that is it. That is it, follow your bliss. There we go again. Okay, I'm gonna put that over here. I need something big. I need something big and I'm not gonna, <clears throat> I'm not gonna find it in here, so. I can't even see what's in here. <clears throat> 
Now I have a frog in my throat. So, oh, the frame. Yeah. Um, let's see, here's another frame too. Oh my goodness. And because it's so, so much drier, um, it's so staticky. Everything is so staticky. I know. If you guys saw me, if, if I showed a picture of myself right now, um, well, okay, first let me tell you how, what the temperature is. It is 64 degrees. Um, I live in, um, I only consider it North Texas. I live in uh, north of Fort Worth, um, almost to the Oklahoma border. And um, it's 64. I have my window cracked a little bit in my scrap room. I have the back door open so the cats can go in and out. And I am wearing, now I couldn't do this outside. I am wearing a camisole, a cami, and, and some leggings and uh, my feet are a little cold, but it's a. Uh, it is so nice. It is so nice. I love fall. Thankful. You know what? I might put this. I think I may already have another one of these in my mini kit Monday kit. I'm gonna go ahead and save that for that because I am using um, thankful as part of my. Um, theme for the month of November. And thank you. Let's see. See, I combined the flowers and the ephemera because I don't think these flowers, no, these, the flowers that are in here are from another embellishment kit. And that kit I don't have. I don't have another um, floral embellishments. I didn't find that at Tuesday morning. I don't think I did anyway. If I did, I, it's here. Okay, I'm not finding anything big other than this frame or this frame. I like this frame or both frames. Uh, oh, what do you think? Is it, is it too much? Does it balance things out? Here, let's take a peek at the big picture. What do you think? Uh, is it too much? No, even if I put something light behind it, And if I did that, I still don't like that. Is that too much? Okay, I'm not feeling it. Just one in the middle? Let's see, I do like that. I may need to make my own embellishment. Let's see. What do I have here? I'm liking that. I love these frames, but I think it's just too dimensional for my for this. It makes it too heavy. So, let's see. Here's another frame. Probably should get another house. Is there another house to put over there? No. What about... Something like that. I need to put something behind this and kind of build upon it. Keep going back to that bunny. Okay. 
You know, and I can open up another one of those embellishment, um, you know, this ephemera pack, since I have several. I think that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and um, I'm going to put something behind this, pull out some ephemera to kind of play with so you don't have to see me him and haw. Okay, hang on tight. I decided to go ahead and just finish it off since I was, it was just taking a long time. So let me show you what I've done. Um, so I went through the, actually I went to the six by eight pad and I found this Live the Good Life. Um, it was, um, let me see if I can show you where I cut it from. It was a cut apart and I just, of course I cut it apart and the same thing with the house. It was, it actually it was right here and I just cut the house out since I was looking for another house. And then this is a sticker. The little B is a sticker. I pulled some stickers out trying to build up this um, embellishment. And there is a lot there. So there's a lot of little pieces. I put the little go for it that I had on the other side. I just pulled it over here so that it had a little bit of green over here. There's quite a bit of green within the, the alpha. Um, I went ahead and put down um, the sequins that came with the, the collection as well as I had two hearts left and here is one. And let me show you, this is the second page. Uh, this is where I put the second heart was there and I went ahead and pulled out a copper, sorry, I pulled out a copper heart to put on this house here. Um, there's some stickers, you know me, and I've got all these words on it, lovely life. Live the good life is again over here. It's the same as here. I don't care because I really like it. I just wanted some brown over here on this side since I had a little bit of brown here. Um, it's a little crooked actually. And of course I had put that little B there before. So you know I just went ahead and got as many little stickers as I could. Um, now as for the sequins as you can see, oops, there's this one right here. These are hard to see. I hate to waste them if you can't see them, but I think on this one you can. If I put it over here on this side, can you see that there's one right here? Probably not. So I only, I think I only put one here. Put um, those little, uh, I guess enamel dots. You know how much I don't like those. But I am using those up. I am gonna call this complete. Um, thank you, Janet, for inviting me to be a part of this uh, collaboration. I have so enjoyed using the 6x6 pad, 6x8 in this particular layout. Oh, I was going to show you the other page that I made. So let me go get that. Just a quick look so that you can see. I did the very same thing. Of course, I used the wallets. Um, I cut, I trimmed them down to be the same size as my photo with some on the top, some on the bottom, uh, opposite. Um, then um, I have, of course, a gap in between. I put it on some white cardstock. That was a huge difference. And I already had this tag put together, um, so I didn't make this um, for this layout. But I try to, this is the way that I usually do, excuse me, my pages, I usually have a, a diagonal the way I do my clusters. So it's the same thing with the one that I had done today. I don't think I have a video for this one, but I was just kind of playing around to see how I like doing, you know, for one thing, um, this turned out so beautiful. I was just so impressed. Used a couple pieces of washi tape. Um, wanted to make sure I put the year in because I'm sure I'll be taking more photos of my house. This is when I decorate my house for Valentine's Day. I decorate more for Valentine's Day than I do for Christmas. Um, I don't know why. I do know why. But um, I uh, just wanted to show you the difference of you know, you know, the color scheme and the size of the photos, it makes a big difference, but the concept is the same. 
So it looks like that I'm using a full sheet, but I'm really not. And then I use a colored background with this one. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, make sure you check out the other ladies that are part of the collaboration. And I will see you guys next time. You have a great day. Bye-bye.